with us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close. come to visit here you never know that handsome fella might pick you up in this sexy beast yeah so today we're actually picking up Landon because he's flown all the way up from Miami for Angara's birthday are you excited Angara he does not know that we're bringing the Rolls Royce he does not know we're bringing Angara Shh. let's see how he reacts Angara are you hiding from Landon Just kidding, we brought the chimp. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm gonna, he came here for your birthday! Oh my god! I wanna wait for your birthday! Yeah. Alright, guys, we're back here on the preserve with Landon. You? If you guys don't know who Landon is, you haven't watched my videos. How do you not know who I am? <laughs> so go back, check out my videos, um, specifically the Cinco de Mayo. I know for sure you were in it and you brought us a whole bunch of really cool stuff, but today is not about Landon. Hello. Angara. It's Angara's birthday. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go in and chop up a bunch of fruit because um, I'm gonna make jarcuteries, that's what they're called. Um, but Landon is gonna hide in the next room with all of Angara's presents and he's gonna wrap them so that Angara doesn't see it. We have to wrap them. We have to wrap them all up. How many presents are there? Just just three. We got three presents. <laughs> are they big presents, little uh, presents? A couple of big ones and one little one. <laughs> super, super cool. I just flew up here from Miami, as you guys saw. I'm super excited. Let's head over there. Excited. We gotta get Let's this go. party started. Let's go! <laughs> Alright guys, look at what we got here. Um, I brought a whole bunch of fruit. I brought a couple of other things like these pretzel rods. Um, this is some of the Chip Brothers' favorite treats. See, I'm not as ready for it already. <laughs> Um, so I'm not actually going with a traditional cake. I didn't last year either. Um, this is just kind of a healthy version of a birthday celebration food for the chimps. Um, I got a couple of really unique things, Rambutan, which I don't believe any of them have tried yet. And what the heck is that? That's a caviar lime. You break it open and it looks like caviar on the inside. I love lime more than anything, but I don't think any of the chimp kids have had lime yet, so we're gonna see. Um, who's coming to the party? Uh, Sagriva. You saw him in my last video, the big 140 pound chimp boy. Bali's coming. He's just over 100 pounds. And baby Tara! She just turned one year old and he's turning two. It's time to party! But he's actually getting tired. See how silly he's being right now? So we're gonna take him upstairs. He's gonna take a nap. And me and Landon are gonna wrap the presents. I don't want Angada to see the presents. I want him to be excited. You ready? Let's go. Nap time. So I got a couple of interesting toys. Um, this one, first of all, Chimps love to make noise more than anything in the whole wide world, so if that's all he uses it for, he's still gonna totally enjoy it. But you can flip it over and like, go crazy. So I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna be terrified of it or if he's gonna love it, but it seems like a chimp toy. Oh, definitely. <laughs> right? I work with the chimpanzee <laughs> as well. If you guys um, have seen my channel before, Limbani, he's almost five years old. He's a bit in between these chimp brothers mm -hmm. that you see here. So I have some experience <laughs> with it and he is definitely gonna love <laughs> to bang on this thing. They love drumming on anything they can, even anything kind of like that. If they can make noise, right. they're liking it. Um, um, I got this. 
Uh, this right. is probably Molly's favorite thing in the whole wide world, so I decided to go with an electric toothbrush for Angana because we want to keep his teeth shiny and clean. And it's Minions. <laughs> it's Minions. It has, all right, so has Angana watched the Minions movie before? We haven't or? yet, actually. Maybe, huh. that, maybe that's what we have to do for part of his birthday week. I like the Minions, personally. I think Angana <laughs> is kind of a Minion in his own way. <laughs> A little troublemaker. I uh, got this. This is kind of just solid. This is solid as a rock. He can push it around. He can climb on it. Oh, yeah. He can get on top and leap off. Uh, all the things also that chimps like to do. Um, stupidly enough, I used an actual screwdriver to put this together, so it took me two hours. I hope he enjoys it after I did all that. <laughs> We're gonna have to see. Guys, comment down below which of these. So that's that's it, right? We got this thing over here. The blue spinny thing. Uh, number one, we got number two present, which is the toothbrush. I think that is going to be his favorite. <laughs> Probably. Um, and then we got the little jungle gym thing here. So comment down below what you guys think Angada is going to like the most. But we've got to get to wrapping these things because if Angada sees it, then the surprise is ruined. Yes. So we got some wrapping paper here. It has some little animals on it. Look, we got. What do we got here, Moksha? We got a fox. Oh, a lion. We got a lion. An alligator. A giraffe. Whale. Monkey. We got some cool stuff. And then that one has sharks, sharks on it. Sharks, because I'm obsessed with sharks, and so is Landon. He spends a lot of time free diving. One day, I'm going to scuba dive, and I'm going to feed sharks. It's going to happen. One day, you're going to see Moksha and I with some sharks. <laughs> Maybe in the near, near future. It's happening. It will happen. Let's see. I, you got the hard one to wrap. I don't know how you plan on doing that. Yeah, we you also know, don't we're have gonna... any scissors. We're animal people. We're not present wrapping uh, people, so we're gonna have to figure this out. But I'm gonna. God is not going to care how it looks, so that's the good thing. He's just want to going to want to get in there and rip it all up. Yeah. He's going to have so much fun with this. So, Angada doesn't actually know it's his birthday, but he does know we're celebrating something. He does know everyone's excited. The big boys are going to come in and they're going to just go crazy and have fun. And that's what he feeds off of, right? He feeds off of our energy. So he does know we're having a celebration and I know he's going to have a good time. It's a party! Yeah. I think the easiest way to wrap this thing... <laughs> we're trying our best here. This and we do something like this. The first present is wrapped. We got some teamwork <laughs> action going here. Hold on, we got gotta some more kinda teeth. roll that and tape it there. Honestly, for animals, the packaging and unwrapping it is kind of the biggest toy in itself. Just like as a kid, unwrapping something on Christmas Day, it just becomes something so cool to do to see what's underneath. Them to get them ripping that wrapping paper, they are obsessed with it. And cardboard boxes could almost be a present <laughs> in their own. They like it more than the present a lot of the time. <laughs> Sometimes. No. Flip her on over. I'm just gonna take this down to like here. Yeah, this I certainly here. didn't pick the easiest things to wrap. We just get some <laughs> tape and we'll just fold in corners. Angana woke up from his nap. Uh, luckily, we got these all wrapped up before he did that. Um, I'm but gonna, I did notice, I think he's got a dirty diaper. I think he does have a dirty diaper. <laughs> it doesn't seem like he's very focused on these toys right now because he wants to play. <laughs> Tickle fights! Tickle fights! That's a chimpanzee laughing if you've never heard it before. <laughs> right before or right after nap time, he's usually the ticklish most. <laughs> Oh, he's double teaming you. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> we also have the wrapping paper rollers out here because this, like we said, is probably gonna be pretty interesting for him. We're just gonna have to see how he goes through all this stuff, but let's go and change his diaper yes, before stinky. anything else. Yes, stinky. All right, so we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna quickly um, put these charcuteries together. So it's a charcuterie. Um, set up inside a jar. Um, I put the grapes at the bottom and I did that because it's their favorite, but also I'm now thinking about it and they're probably just gonna dump everything to get to the grapes. <laughs> um, weirdly, the grocery store was out of blueberries. I don't know what happened with that, um, but we're, so we're gonna quickly put this together. And this is interesting because Rambutans, I just found out, you want that? 
they uh, they do not last very long. Like I ordered them online because they're not available in this area. And so I'm hoping these guys are good. I'm gonna have to pop each one of them open and make sure that they're perfect before I put them in there. But uh, hopefully they like the rambutans. They're weird because they're hairy. So you have to like put that little hairy fruit in your mouth and pop it open. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a good one. You want it? Oh, he likes rambutan! <laughs> I could have guessed that, because rambutan is probably one of my favorites too. Or at least really high on the top of the list. It's a delicious fruit. So I'm just gonna chop up some of these fruits. Um, so I'm not like 100% against refined sugar. Of course, I will occasionally have, you know, some ice cream or whatever, but I don't think that like, anyone, including them, should be constantly exposed to refined sugars. In the wild, they eat a ton of natural sugars. So that's what his birthday celebration cake thing is gonna be, is a whole bunch of natural sugars. I've never actually done this before, but I thought, you know, we should just do some cute little layers and just see, I don't know, make it look appealing to the eye. Uh, most of this stuff, like I said, the chimps are, um, accustomed to eating every day, so they're gonna immediately like pick it up and, and like it. Um, I did go with pretzel sticks. There is some salt on it. Um, they do really like salt too. So, but again, I wouldn't give them a ton of salt. Uh, this is hard to do with him just hanging there on the side. You're being very helpful today, Anka. <laughs> We're almost done. You want a strawberry? So we're almost done with the funny little jarcuteries here. He's just gonna make strawberry mouche, I guess. Um, what about an apple? Yeah? But I wanted to show you guys this strange caviar lime. So I'm just popping it open with my fingers. I washed my hands, don't worry. Um, look, it has almost some pink in it and you squeeze it and it comes out like little pieces of caviar. Okay, so I googled it. This is one of the hardest trees to grow, and so guess what? I'm gonna try to grow one. I hope to actually do two, and I wanna bring one to Florida because I heard they do grow okay in Florida, but because I spend most of my time here, I was hoping that I could grow one and maybe keep it indoors. We'll see if Angada likes some. You wanna try some? Angada, look, look, look. You wanna try it? <gasps> Did you bite into it? So it's almost like like boba. Have you ever had boba? Comment down below, let me know. Um, there, it's like really well encapsulated. So you put it on your tongue and it doesn't have an immediate lime flavor. You have to pop it. And that's when you get the lime. I love lime, so I don't care. Um, I mean, he ate it, but he didn't come back for more, so I guess it wasn't his favorite. <laughs> Like I said earlier, chimps love to make noise more than anything, so any surface he can make any kind of noise on, that's what he wants to do. He's loving that apple today. Oh, and Landon, gotta give Landon a hug. Oh. Yeah, good hugs. So our jarcuteries are all done. We got uh, some caviar lime stuck in the hair of the rambutan. <laughs> Comment down below, would you eat this? Would you want this for your birthday? Or just in general, would you eat it? I will eat it. Well, look at this. We made a huge mess, and I think we need to make more of a mess. Let's go! Last year, he was a little too young for presents, so we didn't even wrap them, but this year, maybe he's gonna wanna open some presents and wrapping. Ugh, look at this. I got it, I got it. Come here, come here. You go inside it. Look. We do this. <laughs> what about this? Yeah. He's loving that. Come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's acting like a chimpanzee. <laughs> come here, come here. We got more. He's all excited. We got more. What about oh, you? we got presents. I got it. Come here. Look. Look! What do you think? Do you see this? <laughs> oh, he's in it! Okay! Oh, he's opening it! <laughs> he got this out already! <laughs> oh. 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 oh! 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 
my dentist is gonna be so happy. Angara's got an electric toothbrush and he loves it. <laughs> Go here. Ah. Ah. Here you <laughs> we got one more present. Just like us, it is incredibly important that we take care of them, that he gets a bath at night, that I brush his hair, that I floss his teeth, that I brush his teeth. I even put lotion on him. Of course, someone's gonna say, does that happen in the wild? No, but they die in the wild, right? They have huge issues in the wild, not just because people are hunting them and eating them, but because they don't have dental and health care. So that is a huge part of them living with us, is making making sure that they get all of the care that they need. So yeah, he's gonna brush his teeth. He's gonna put lotion on. I put sunscreen on him. I don't want him to get sunburn. <laughs> we got one more toy though. You ready? Look at this toy. Okay, 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 get it, get it. <laughs> yes. What you doing there? <laughs> he broke through the other side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't know what he likes the most. He's playing with all the things. <laughs> you're such a good boy. What about this? You want to take this with you while you're running? <laughs> if you guys want to see more of Angara's day and night routine, of course, go back. If you haven't seen it already, watch the video. Let me know what you think. <laughs> you go, boy. <laughs> so he's loving the sound of the paper ripping and play. Look at him, he's got all of that over there. <laughs> but I think he actually left all of the songs so he can keep making noise. blanket fort or something. We got a wrapping paper fort here. <laughs> yeah! Wrap it all wrapping these paper fort! <laughs> oh, I love these crazy presents. Go, go, go get it, get it, yeah. open it! You big goofball. Yeah! He loves getting up high and jumping off of stuff. Um, they are so brave about that that I get worried sometimes. Um, so I have to watch him and make sure he doesn't climb too high because I'm not sure how far he should fall. Um, but he's probably one of the most brave apes I've ever met in my life. He's so brave. Yeah! Look at this giant mess we made! Um, I think we're gonna have to bring the big boys over and make them clean before we have our jarcuteries. So the boys just finished cleaning and they're about to join us. But I was thinking Angata might be a little too excited when they get here to blow out his candle, so we were gonna try and see if he'd blow it out now. He did blow out a candle last year for his first birthday, so we're gonna see if he remembers how to do it. Um, I don't know. Let's see what happens. All right, you ready? You gotta come here. Gotta make sure that I have all your hands and feet. Come here, sweet angel. You ready? So you have to make a wish, okay? You ready? Make a wish. You blow on it. I'm gonna, what did you wish for? What did you wish for? Did you wish for the big boys to come eat with you? Yeah. You want your jars? Yeah. Doc's got the jars for you. Good yeah. boys, good boys. Cody's got a jar, China's got a jar if they want it. China. Don't want the women. China. Mm. No. That's got weed in it. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. You like that? You like that? Hey, that's mine. Mm. I tried the lime caviar. It's good. Packs a it? punch. Mm. It does have a little punch. You, can Do you want that? The fish out you ate one earlier. You like the pretzel? Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
Mmm. Good boy. Mm. Want that? You know what? I kind of thought they were going to dump it, but they're just slowly enjoying each layer at a time, so I'm actually very excited that they're exploring these cute little jars that we made, and look at them. They're having a good time. <laughs> Even on Ghana. Yeah. Oh, Happy party. birthday, little buddy. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ghana. Happy birthday to you. as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe, comment, like it, and remember, stay wild. With us since they were very small. They were little just like Angada right there is. They've lived with us since they were tiny. Those different wildlife, incredible opportunities to uh, meet them up close.